women club. Amen. That's not going to get you any points from me nor with God. Hello. Amen. Say amen in time that you want to, but it is the gift of God. They, they, that's a reward that they're giving. And uh, I, I got to, uh, put in the Hall of Fame over at Cal State last year. Uh, uh, that wasn't uh, an award. That was a gift. I didn't deserve that. Still don't. You think you deserve what God offers you as a gift? Oh, if I can only do a little more, if I only say a little more, if I can only uh, pray a little more, if I only shout a little more, if I only dance a little more, if I can uh, just give a little more. No, no, you, you can't buy it. You can't go to Samaria and you can't go to Jerusalem. It's not where you find it, it's how you find it. How you're going to find it in spirit and in truth. Uh, spirit and truth means uh, according to, uh, let me tell you again, According to the Greek, it means to be true in doctrine. Whose doctrine? Doctrine and teaching. I'm going to close with this. Gift. Gift of the Holy Ghost. Think about it. God in you and you in God. God in you and you in God. What's that mean? It means baptized. That's what the term baptism means is to be put under, to be fully wet. We become baptized. They had been baptized in water, had not been baptized in the Holy Ghost. What was the difference? Whenever they understood and realized that the spirit that was in them was God, and they accepted that and began to worship him as rivers of living water flowing out of your innermost being, it flew out of their mouth over them because they realized that they were walking in the spirit. The spirit was in them. Glory to God. Amen. Gift of God. Now I, I am perplexed. I don't understand how that, that it can be so simply written as to how that you can receive the gift. When I first repented and gave my heart to God, they had me down at the altar beating me and saying, You're getting it, you're turning it loose, holding on, uh, spitting on me, slobbering on me. Uh, the, those things are fast. You can go to church and now they don't do that anymore. You know what they do? They take them into a room in the annex or somewhere so that they can pray for them in privacy. Hello? Amen. We showed how spiritual we are in the public because we could jump benches. Amen? Hallelujah. Well, I, I, I'm still perplexed. And I want to read it to you real slow. Because there are people that don't like me because of this. All right, people that don't like me because of, you know, because of who I am. I mean, how I am. Uh, don't bother me to come right out and peel the onion back and let you smell it and shed tears. Acts, the second chapter. People say, well, man, I'm not going to, I, I remember back in Samaria, and I remember back in Jerusalem, whenever those old oneness and Jesus only people and, and all those hard uh, 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 people, I remember that I wouldn't have that. That's no way. In, uh, I'm not worshiping in Samaria and Jerusalem. It's not where I worship, it's how I worship. I'm worshiping in spirit. Now, when they heard this, how are you going to be saved without hearing? I don't need anybody to teach me anything. And I'm a good man. I'm a good person. I give to the poor. Uh, uh, I've sent money to Haiti, and I made telephone calls sending money to Haiti. And, and, and uh, glory to God. That's wonderful. You should. These things you should do. And not leave the others undone. Isn't that what he said? But there's a difference. Good works cannot save you. Amen. But when you're saved, you're going to do good work. How can I receive the gift of the Holy Ghost? Now when you heard this.
this. They were pricked in the heart. In other words, that they, they, they looked at Jerusalem, they looked at Samaria. They said, we've had this religion all these years and there's still something missing. They were pricked in their heart. I mean, they, they, they came under conviction. And said unto Peter and to the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what shall we do? This is absolute. What Jesus say? Must worship. What did Peter say? Hmm? Men and brethren, what shall we do? Then Peter said unto them, Repent. Glory to God. What, what is it that Adam and Eve could not do in the garden because they were hiding? They didn't tell God they were sorry. They started making excuses for their position. Adam started blaming Eve, and Eve started blaming the snake, and the first thing you know, here we are, sinners. Annihilated and cut off from the presence of God. The first Adam sinned and cut us off, and the second Adam brought us back into a place of death on the cross so that we could die, be buried, and be raised again in newness of life. Every now and then I have to... Uh, Tell myself, no, I'm a new man. There's some things I do that I shouldn't do. I know that, but there's a whole lot of things that I wouldn't, that I would be doing if I wasn't a believer. Amen. <coughs> Hello, Amen. I'd be selling you signs, miracles, and wonders, and holy water, and green claws, and red black prayer claws, and uh, uh, Amen. I might know what I'm talking about here with these scriptures. Amen. Where, 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 where? You're not going to hear it in Jerusalem. You're not going to hear it in Samaria. What are you going to hear in Jerusalem and Samaria? I've healed the sick, I've cast out dead. Oh, hold on! The miracle is coming. The miracle is not coming, it's already here. Yes, it is. If God is in you and you and God, how big a miracle do you want? Amen. We walk in the Spirit. Amen. Listen to what it said. Then Peter said unto them, Repent. Repent means, God, I, I, I'm sorry. I've tried to do all this on myself. Repent and die. Bury. You don't bury alive people. Amen. If you do bury them alive, they're not alive very long. That's right. Oh, they're one, ten, twelve, eight. That long time they're alive. I'd have been dead and out there scratching uh, uh, out there tea. I could have dug through that granite by that uh, uh, that time. Uh, amen. Uh, repent and be baptized. Paul said, whereby we have been buried with him in baptism. We have been raised up to walk with him in newness of life. Hallelujah. Don't argue with the truth. Walk in the truth of the gospel of the doctrine of the apostles and prophets. But if God's not going to honor his word, he's certainly not going to honor your good works and your charity and your spiritualism and your superstitions. He's not going to honor Samaria. He's not going to honor Jerusalem. But he will honor us when we worship him in spirit. And God is a spirit. And if you have not this spirit, you're not a hit. And Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you. Oh, Brother Wayne, I don't know how to get baptized. I don't want to be baptized in the name of Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, or up and side down, sideways, or better than Do what they did in the New Testament. They baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hello, amen. Matthew 28, 19, the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost are titles. Yes. 